Welcome to Daily Devotions. Today we're going to be looking at the gospel passage for this Sunday, which is from Matthew chapter 22, starting at verse 1. But first I want to tell you a little story about myself. Ever since I can remember, I have had an unreasonable fear of showing up at a party on the wrong date, or worse, showing up in the wrong clothing. Specifically, I'm thinking of Halloween costume parties or themed parties like 50s or Western. And uh, in my college days and early 20s, I was invited to a lot of these types of parties and not once did this happen. Yet it remains an unreasonable fear that I have. So I resonated a bit with this story today, the gospel story, which is about a man who shows up at a party in the wrong clothing. It's a difficult passage. It seems really harsh. So we're going to take a look at it and see what the real meaning is and why the king reacted so strongly against this man showing up in the wrong clothes. A king invites guests to the wedding feast of his son. And as was typical in the ancient days, it took a long time to prepare for the feast and typically guests would be invited but wouldn't be uh, given a specific time, they would be told when the feast was ready and to come at that time. And so this is what, what was happening. The king was preparing the feast. The guests already knew, but now he sends out his messengers to tell them, it's ready now, come to the party. Well, some of the guests refused. They just went about their own business and ignored the king's party. The other guests seized the messengers and even killed some of them. An unusual reaction to an invitation. The king, understandably upset and angry, then told the rest of his servants, go out into the streets and invite anybody you can find, the good or the bad, bring them in. And so they did, and the great hall was filled with guests to celebrate the son's wedding, enjoy the feast that the king had prepared. Well, the king came across one man who was not dressed in his wedding garment. And the king angrily had the man bound and thrown out into the darkness where there was gnashing of teeth. What a strong reaction. He had just invited the good, the bad, and the ugly, and now when they show up, he kicks them out. What's that all about? It might be very helpful if we understand the customs of the day. So one of the things about the ancient world was that hospitality was extremely important, both the giving and the receiving. There was etiquette involved and breaches of etiquette and hospitality were a big deal. And so the king has invited this guest and uh, it was very typical, very typical for wealthy families to provide a wedding garment for the guests. This was a point of privilege and pride on the part of the host. And if they couldn't afford to do that, there was still an expectation that the invitation would include a request to wear something specific, a specific wedding garment. It wouldn't have been hard to obtain. It would not have been expensive. It may have even been something people would have available to them in their, in their homes. This was uh, not an unusual thing at all. It was very common. People knew this. And yet this man refused to do it. For him to show up after having been provided a garment, which was most likely the case, this being a king, so he was actually provided with this garment, for him to show up at this party without wearing it was a huge breach of etiquette. This wasn't like me showing up at a, at a, uh, at a funeral in a strapless yellow evening gown or something where people would just think I'm strange but they wouldn't throw me out. This wasn't like that. This was an intentional offensive breach of etiquette and it angered the king and the man was thrown out. The other thing is that the people listening to the story, in particular the Pharisees, would have immediately recognized Isaiah 61 which reads, For he has clothed me with garments of salvation, he has wrapped me with a robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. So these people, and especially the Pharisees listening to this parable, would have understood the message of the parable. There were three kinds of guests. The first list of guests refused the invitation. They wanted no part. They either ignored it or they killed the messenger. 
Before him, Jesus found people who were ignoring the fact that he was the Messiah. He, they were ignoring his invitation to follow him, to join him at the feast at the table of God. They were, they were even trying to kill the son for whom the feast was being held. The second kind of guests were wearing the wedding garments. They were participating fully in the feast, happy to be there in unity with the king and with the son and, and participating fully in the wedding feast. Now in the Old Testament, in addition to the imagery of uh, the bride and marriage that was very common associated with the relationship of God and Israel, there was also very rich imagery about pure white garments. Garments of salvation is in our Isaiah passage. There was the imagery of sin dirtying one's garments and forgiveness or repentance then cleaning the garments new fresh clean garments when one received forgiveness or when one repented of one's sins so these wedding guests were participating fully in their white robes of righteousness that had been offered freely by the king and then there was the third type of guest the man who showed up in the king's palace he maybe wanted the free shrimp cocktail. He wanted to be able to say he was um, in the presence of the king, that he was invited to the party as a point of, of pride, that he, he was accepting the invitation on a superficial level, but he didn't want the commitment of obeying the king. He didn't want to wear the garments. The one thing that was being requested of him to obey, to wear fresh, clean, white garments, he refused to do. The Pharisees would have recognized Jesus speaking to them, they who were refusing him as the Messiah, they who were following all the rules, the 613 rules of the Old Testament, of the Torah, obeying the rules and looking really good. They were standing in the temple, in the place where they belonged, but they were refusing to do the one thing that was being asked of them, to accept Jesus as their Messiah. God has invited us to the wedding feast of the Lamb. He has offered us a free gift of fresh, clean, white garments of salvation. All he asks of us is to accept that gift, to repent of our sins so that we can wear the fresh, clean garment and we will be a part of that heavenly feast. He has given the invitation and is waiting to see what we will do. Amen.